Pete's captain Eric Cornell hails from Kentville, Ontario, nearly 300 kilometers northeast of Peterborough. Pete's third-year player Stephen Lawrence was born in Waterloo, roughly the same distance in the other direction. 490 kilometers between their respective hometowns, but they're now both part of one family here with their billet parents, Paul and Maureen, along with their son Doug. Yeah, first year I was when I was 16, I moved to the Peets, and I moved in with Paul and Maureen. It was really good. And uh, they had a, I didn't have a player living with me at the time, but I had uh, their son. Doug was a year older than me, so got a bit of a friendship with him. And, and then uh, the next year, uh, Steve moved in, and uh, we became pretty good friends from there. Yeah, I developed a re relationship with him uh, you know, early on in the season when he's not uh, at school yet. Um, you know, he's around the house, so we get to, you know, when we come home from hanging out with the, the team, we get to see him. We can go for a swim or hang out in the basement, something like that. As you would imagine, siblings, roommates, and friends can get on one another's nerves. The same applies to Billet Brothers. We won't really freak out on each other, I don't think, but obviously we can get frustrated. As you know, any any time you have a brother, uh, you know, a teammate, you know, you're never going to be happy with them every single minute of the day. So I think we don't really, like I said, we don't yell at each other, but we just kind of keep our distances or uh, might say something under our breath, but. Uh, well, uh, we'll, we'll be fine pretty quickly. It's not, we don't hold grudges against each other. And just like real brothers, these Billet brothers have no problem embarrassing one another or bringing up certain pet peeves. <laughs> he uses all the toilet paper and he doesn't flush the toilet, especially at night. It just kind of goes, so other than that, uh, there's not a whole lot that really bugs me. So. Uh, I think he likes to sleep a lot and uh, sometimes I have to wake, up, wake him up in the morning, especially that those first few years before school and now before breakfast club. Uh, and sometimes I end up making food for him in the morning, kind of feel like his mother sometimes, but other than that, uh, we get along really well. Having a billet brother does have more pros than cons. Lorenz was raised with three sisters and just having a guy to talk to can sure make things easier and they can carpool to school. I can talk to him about any guy problems that I can't really talk to my sisters about. They won't really understand, so uh, it's, it's really nice being able to, to have someone I can talk to about you know, pretty much anything. Um, I am close to my sisters though, like they're always there for me, but you know, they just don't go through the same things that you know, maybe I'm going through on a regular basis. There was, uh, I had my little <clears throat> two-door car and I'd take Steve, plus I'd stop and pick three other guys up and drive all the way over to Tass. So my morning commute was pretty long, but uh, it was nice to have company along the drive, especially if I, we had, had to push my car out of the snow. <laughs> uh, we, got, we have a special bond that a lot of guys on the team don't have just because we see that much more of each other. And uh, yeah, like we don't talk a whole lot in the summer. Um, maybe it's nice to get a break, but then once, uh, once you get back in the season or you say hi in the summer, it's like, uh, it's like you never stopped uh, seeing each other. It's, it's that kind of special bond. But whether snow, sleet, or rain, these two always make it to the ice on time and they're aware of one another's strengths. Uh, obviously his offensive abilities. You know, he's a, a great playmaker and like I said, he can find guys on the ice that most guys won't see. And he's got a really good shot, especially coming down the right side. He can find corners in the net that uh, you know, where the goalie thinks he's got it covered, he'll, he'll find a way to put it past them. So um, it's also a good two-way forward. You know, I think he's, uh, he's got a really good plus-minus this year. So, uh, you know, he's responsible in the defensive zone too. So obviously, uh, I think every guy in the team looks up to that. Yeah, I think Steve and I are pretty similar. I think he's a good skater. He, he's big and uh, sort of over the few years he's been here, I've really seen, seen him improve. He came in when he was 16. Uh, the year before he was on the team, he was really small and it shows how hard he worked. He, he grew, he put on some size and then now he's, uh, again, he's a really good playmaker. He's got good hands, probably some of the best one-on-one uh, -on -one skills on the team. He can really uh, beat guys like that. So, uh, you know, he's just one of those pieces to the puzzle. With, uh, he's got the great uh, offensive abilities. Cornell, a Buffalo Sabres draft pick, grew up a fan of the Ottawa Senators while both his billet family and Carolina Hurricanes draft pick Stephen Lorenz cheer for the blue and white occasionally making the Pete's captain the odd man out. Uh, yeah, it was, it was definitely uh, fun on Saturday nights. We didn't get to watch too many Saturdays because we usually have games on Saturday, but if Ottawa was ever playing Toronto, uh, I think the whole house, including Paul and Maureen, were Leaf fans and I was the odd man out being the Ottawa fan, so 
that made it, uh, made it pretty fun. And the thing that these two want the most is nothing more than to win together. Yeah, it would make it that much better, I think. Um, I never really was on a team with my brother at home, so uh, now that I, you know, I go through it every day with Steve and, and everybody else in the dressing room, we're all like brothers, so um, just winning uh, would make everything that much better. We're already getting great relationships and great memories, but I think uh, winning would really be the icing on the cake. With both players being drafted to the NHL, best case scenario, one day they'll be able to play against one another in the big show. And when asked what they do when they see each other at a face-off... Uh, definitely say, how's it going, buddy? He'll probably give me that goofy smile back, and uh, like you said before, it's going to be like we never, we, uh, never left Peterborough. Well, I can hit as hard as I want. It's probably not going to be a big hit anyways, but oh, no, it'll be like a, maybe a friendly hit, but I'm not going to try and go kill him.